Hello again, dear friends. Today, the Top Football Channel presents you with a brand new issue. You and I know very well that Cristiano Ronaldo loves to take revenge on his haters on the pitch and prove how wrong they can be about him. But there is also a downside to this. This time, we decided to share three cases when it was Ronaldo who showed disrespect to his rivals and was punished for it. And before the beginning of the video, we recommend you to subscribe to our channel and give a like to this video. Your support is always very important to our team. Well, now let's get down to business. In August of 2018, Cristiano Ronaldo made his debut for Juventus and, to the surprise of many, in his first match for the new team, things didn't go well at all. At the end of the Serie A match day one against Chievo, the Portuguese seriously injured the opponent's goalkeeper. In one of the episodes, Ronaldo collided with the home team's keeper, Stefano Sarantino, and as a result, the 39-year-old goalie broke his nose and injured his cervical spine. For a few seconds, the victim did not come to his senses at all and the Chievo players immediately rushed to the rescue, thinking that Sorrentino was dying. Although during that moment, Ronaldo got up and just walked away from the crowd, not even asking what happened to Stefano. Fortunately, the goalkeeper came to his senses, but of course was subbed off and hospitalized. Soon in January of 2019, these two met on the pitch once again in the match day 20 of the Italian Championship. Juve defeated Chievo 3-0, but the fact of Sorrentino getting an upper hand in a personal battle against Ronaldo came out on top. In the 52nd minute of the meeting, Cristiano went to take a penalty, but the goalkeeper saved his shot and thus avenged the last incident. Yet the Juventus star refused to accept his failure. According to the memoirs of the Chievo goalkeeper, before that game, he agreed with Cristiano that he would exchange shirts with him after the final whistle. But in the end, this did not happen, because the striker sometimes decides not to keep his word. We agreed to exchange our shirts, but after missing the penalty, he was very angry. It had never happened to him in Italy. In the changing room tunnel we met, he gave me a handshake, but he had a bad face and he didn't give me his shirt. In the end, I took Paolo Dybala's. It went well anyway, told Stefano. The keeper from Chievo is not the only footballer whom Ronaldo treated with no respect. A similar incident took place in May 2019 with Roma's defender Alessandro Florenzi. During the battle between the teams in Rome, the Italian and the Portuguese clashed in the 59th minute, during which Cristiano ridiculed the opponent's short stature in a rude manner, saying, Shut your mouth, you are too short to talk. A few seconds later, the referee calmed the players and it seemed that the episode had finished itself, but this was not the case. 20 minutes later, Florenzi scored a goal from Edin Dzeko's pass and shut up the offender and his team. Moreover, that evening, Roma beat Juventus with a result of 2-0, and the last laugh went to Alessandro. After a while, he gave a post-match interview and explained why he quarrelled with Ronaldo. We'd put the ball out of play twice so someone could get treatment, and twice he played it. We could have gone on the counter in the first half, but we put it out of play, because that's the kind of people we are. Cristiano thinks he can do what he wants because he has won the Ballon d'Or. I say and do a lot of dumb things on the pitch too, but it stays there, noted Florenzi. No doubt the best revenge is one that is backed up by a good on-field performance, and not by reciprocal verbal rudeness. Alessandro was beyond that and deserved to be on the side of the winners.
Finally, we have arrived at the example of karma against Ronaldo that inspired us to create this video. In January 2019, Atalanta faced Juventus in the Italian Cup quarterfinals and sensationally won the match 3-0. At the end of this showdown, the defender of the goddess, Robin Gersens, asked Cristiano Ronaldo to exchange shirts, but received a cold refusal from that. We've already seen this somewhere, right? In his autobiography called Dreams Are Worthwhile, the footballer from Atalanta wrote about this in detail. After the game against Juventus, I tried to fulfill my dream of having Ronaldo's jersey. After the final whistle, I went to him, having not even gone public to celebrate. But Ronaldo did not accept. I asked, Cristiano, can I have your shirt? He didn't even look at me. He just said, no. I was completely blushed and ashamed. I went away and felt small. You know that moment when something embarrassing happens and you look around to see if anyone noticed it? That's what I felt, and I tried to hide it. Just recently, Gerzens waited for an occasion to take revenge on his football idol for that disappointment. Not so long ago, in the second match day of the Euro 2020 group stages, the German national team beat Portugal by a score of 4-2, and Robin provided just a fiery performance for the Bundesliga, making a goal, an assist, and getting the Man of the Match award. By the way, on the same evening, Cristiano Ronaldo was noticeable only for scoring one goal. Now that is a tangible contrast. It is noteworthy that after the end of the battle, journalists asked Gozens if the defeated Portuguese wanted to exchange shirts this time. However, after this success, Robin was no longer going to ask CR7 for the same favour twice. I didn't ask Cristiano Ronaldo for his shirt because I want to take advantage of this victory and tonight, said the defender. Well, an extremely awesome answer that should lead Ronaldo to one simple but important thought. Even if your opponents are not superstars on the pitch, they still deserve decent treatment. The stories of Stefano Serentino, Alessandro Florenzi and Robin Gersens must be a great football lesson for anyone. Friends, it's time for us to finish today's issue. Subscribe to the Top Football channel, give us a like and comment on our videos. And also watch the suggested content you can see on your screen. We always work hard just for you and would definitely not suggest a video for you that we didn't think you would enjoy. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye.